Hello, my name is Jan Ketil Röd and I will in this video show you some tricks and trick with a layer panel. The layer panel is most often situated in the left part of your QGIS. In case you don't see it or if it has been removed, just like if I click on this button, it's gone and we only see the browser menu here. We can get it from right clicking on the attribute toolbar and here all the panels available appears in the list and you find layer panels and activate that again and it appears on your left side of your QGIS. If you don't like it to be situated towards the left you can always drag it somewhere else, situate it on the left, right, or wherever. But I like it good here to the left and I can toggle with a browser panel. From the layer list, you can show or do not show any of the layers listed. Currently, I on only have two layers being displayed. That is the watershed boundaries, which is with this blue line here. And I have a background layer, topographic map of Norway, in gray shades. I can turn other layers on or off by just clicking on the little square next to the layer name. If you want to add layers, there's a number of ways you can do that. There is an entry from the layer menu. You could add layer and then you could add vector layer, raster layer and many other types of layer. This will open the data source manager. And this is also available from this icon here. Then you open the same data source manager and you can browse for the data set you like. Clicking on this button here and you will get a folder here. Browse to the folder where you have the data and you can then add whatever layer you want. And I have here shapefile and this illustrates very nicely that the shapefile is not one file, it is a collection of files, a minimum three files. So by clicking on the one shapefile here and open, click add, there is new layer being added. Then the symbology will be completely random, but that could be altered. Now also nice to have here is that the order of the layers, this should be ordered by dimension. So vector layers on top, point layers having zero dimension, then linear features having one dimension, and then polygon layer having two dimension. So otherwise this could easily be blocked by polygon feature. So you can alter the order that the layers are displayed by simply moving it up or down. Now I moved this drainage line above or the polygon feature. I don't need to have this here so I turn it off. Then also what I have here is raster layers. I always put them below the polygon layers and on the very bottom I have whatever background layers being displayed. Other ways of adding data is that uh, if you have a browser open you can also just simply find the data here. You can then just navigate in the folder structure to the folder where you have stored your data and then uh, identify the layer you want to add and just click on it, hold down and drag and release when it's over the map. You will now see that this is then added to your layers. Again, I could move this to the top because this is a point feature and I can turn it off. A fourth way of adding layers is actually using the window browser. Again, if you navigate to the folder where you have your data, you could find also here the data you want to add and pick the one you like and drop it into the map. And it displays also in the layer list. If you want to remove a layer from the layer list, you right click on it and select remove layer. This also needs to be approved by clicking OK. 